Makoko community is a slum, popularly called the Venice of Africa, where people struggle to earn a living. The environment and the various human activities make its inhabitants susceptible to different health challenges. Sadly, qualitative health care is a luxury to these low income earners. The lad is not to be say, a law of Bologna, or the Paralay, Tori Mauco, a law of Bologna, to put your cat to Opombe, Tori Abutano, Oponobe. You would look around me, you see that Makoko is a highly populated environment. And where we have people that are many, they're not likely to access healthcare easily. And we thought of it that, oh, these people around here might not have the funds and the finances and um, technical know-how, now what to do when, when, when they are here. I will say, okay, let, them, let us come around, talk to them, enlighten them, knowing that the fact that Makoko has two parts, the water side and the, and the land side. And well, most of them don't actually consult medical doctors. They do traditional birth attendant care, which may not really be too good for them. Like it has been rightly opined, the prime purpose of human existence is to help others and make life less difficult for people. From Agoegba to Okobaba, Apapa Road, Oingbo, and now Makoko, one man keeps stretching a hand of benevolence to different communities in Lagos State through his Olari Cares initiative. He is Dr. Olari Waju Tajudin Ayuade. What he is doing today? He has been doing it before now. And this is going to be the fifth of the medical outreach being organized in Lagos, Mainland. I've witnessed that of Ebitimeta. I've witnessed that of uh, Okubaba. I've witnessed that of Apawa Road. I've witnessed that of uh, Agwegba. I'm witnessing another one in Makoko today. That service to humanity. I pray to God to continue to reward him abundantly assist him to the highest level. It's a very nice program because our community, our people, they do this. And this is an individual using his own money and his, all his resources to do this. We like to appreciate him and say a very big thank you to him. And uh, this is not the first time he will do it. This is the fifth time. They do operation, they do a lot of things. You see now, blood sugar, you know. There are a lot of our people that they go about without even knowing what is the, what the problem they have. But doing this type of thing, you see a lot of people coming in. They want to check. And from there, they can be able to know exactly what is wrong with them. We thank him and we appreciate him. Olari Cares Initiative is a non-governmental organization established with the sole purpose of saving humanity through free medical outreach. Today, it's going to cover a lot, ranging from checking of blood pressure, checking of uh, blood sugar, to free surgeries. Then also to all ailments, as, I mean malaria, infections, all sorts of ailments. We are going to cover it for today. We have giving solace to many people in this community. That is the reason why we have come here. We have for them free high tests, free high glasses, free surgeries for 50 beneficiaries. Over 500 people will be given free drugs, ranging from anti-malaria, anti-hypertensive, diabetic medication. New cases will be discovered as regards hypertension and diabetes in this environment. Chronic will be screening them for, for blood sugar, hepatitis, and their blood pressure. It is not easy. You can know the amount of money that has been committed. Speaking at the fifth edition of the free medical outreach to the people of Makoko community, Honorable Jideji Mowu is a member House of Representatives, Lagos Mainland constituency. Honorable Omolola Rashidat, Chairman Lagos Mainland Local Government, and Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, Chairman Nigerians in Diaspora Commission NITCOM, commend Dr. Ayuade for his relentless effort and sacrifices in the service of humanity. 
they urged others to emulate such. This program is so important, not only because of the fact that it's free, but because of the fact that you know, the patient to doctor ratio is 1 to 600, as recommended by WHO. But in this country, as we have now, we have about almost 5,000 people to one doctor. So for him to have now come out here to do this, is a wonderful thing that has to be commended. So we are grateful for your for this incentive that you've done for them. And I want to use this opportunity to, to appeal to other public spirited individuals too. As she's as he's doing this one in the medical line, we want people to equally help our youth too by giving them vocational training so that they can be you know, empowered in skills acquisition. So when they are so empowered, they will, be, they, will, they will not be encouraged to want to go overseas at all costs. It will help us to control irregular migration across the country. Oh, <laughs> And <laughs> It is not easy. You can know the amount of money that has been committed to this program. Honestly speaking, it is only God that can reward you. And God will reward you abundantly. Pa Elisha Oladunjoye is a septuagenarian. He benefited from a free annual surgery during the previous edition. He is also a beneficiary today. headache Kindness is a language that even the blind can feel. Just like Elisha, other beneficiaries couldn't hide their joy. Doctor I saw Bruko in the I love at a quick way. Ayuade has chosen this path 
and is passionate about his mission and purpose in life. He is committed to helping the people in different communities have access to qualitative health care that is not within their means, a trait innate to him from childhood. It's one of my children that I love. I see that I love my children. 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 I can tell you Dr. Larewaji is somebody who has the people of his community at heart and he's really willing to serve them with all you can imagine somebody who has been spending from his own pockets for the past five years putting all this together today we are going to give them free food free drinks aside the drugs and all the other medical uh, stuff so you can imagine for somebody who has putting all that in, in in his mind to do for his community definitely if it's privilege, I'm sure he's going to do more. As he continues to contribute his quota to the actualization of a greater Lagos vision through Olarikia's initiative, driving the H, which stands for health in the things agenda of Governor Babaji de Sonwolu to the grassroots. Emulating and supporting such initiatives is a moral burden on all well meaning individuals, philanthropists, non-governmental and corporate organizations to support the efforts of government to provide access to qualitative health care in different communities. Our responsibility is to assist humanity. Let us, all of us, come together individually, collectively to, have, to assist our society, to assist our community, to assist individuals because of service to humanity. Other NGOs should ensure the support because anything like this is about collective responsibility. It's not the duty of government alone. It is the duty of every single corporate organization, individual and government in collaboration with others to serve humanity and service is to humanity generally. The government alone can't do it. We should have one way or the other to come in to assist ourselves especially in our community, in our neighborhood. So we should have one thing or the other that we also give back. We shouldn't put everything on government, government. We are also the government. Like I would say, we are the government. So if some people are there representing us, it doesn't mean that they are the ones to shoulder it all. We as individuals, we should have one or two things to also contribute. At least supporting our government isn't a bad idea. So for anybody who has this kind of Thing at heart, they should come out willingly to do it because I'm sure it's going to move a lot of things. We should uh, learn to be our, our brother's keepers. How do we do that? It's by giving out the little we have. It's not a must, you have lots with you before you give out. People who should, who would need a care but do not have funds to assess it, you can give a helping hand to them. Let's visit communities, let's visit environments. We have people are, are actually not privileged to, help, to give themselves what is required in this uh, uh, present day, day country. Um, Mr. Babagi de Sangolu, he has done so well. He, he can see now, just recently, he has opened five centers to general hospitals. That's, that's laudable. By so doing, having a general hospital status is a plus to that community. Like, like, like our community has, uh, has enjoyed that. Now it is now a bit of a general hospital, no, no more a bit of a health center. We give 
Mm, all, all thanks to God, and we thank our governor as well, who has found it, uh, found our community mm. worthy to be awarded a general hospital at us. Uh, and we can only pray for him for more work, more life, more successes in, in his government. <laughs>